It's all right. Move it a marker. I'm going to do... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, mommy, puppy. You know, get a marker because the pencil's not work. It doesn't work anymore. I try to do it, but it doesn't work. What's wrong with me? I try to do it hard, but it, I still can't see it. But I, I can see mine. You see? I can see yours, but eyes are triangles. Why not? Because they're supposed to be triangles. You <laughs> do like a little... But so Maka is easier. It's a pen. Maka's in the pens. Does it work then? Mm-hmm. Well, I can't see it on my board release. Why can't you? How do you want yours? I like the triangles. Big triangles or small triangles? I like medium triangles. You got a burger? I got pens. You said burger. It'll work easy enough. You'll be able to see uh. it better. <laughs> like this? I can see it better. Can I make one bigger than the other one? Make it look creepier. So I'll make a little creepy. <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> oh. Papa, how do you want the nose to be? A nose Diamond, to be square. Or triangles. Triangle. Triangles? Yes, the one can be triangles too. Alright. So. <laughs> A knife. How do you want your mouth to be? A triangle? Or. Or a square, or oval, rectangle, I don't know. Oval. <laughs> or, uh, pick one, I'm gonna pick it. <coughs> she doesn't even know the difference, Ali. Ali. So a triangle, a circle. That's what I'm telling her. Or an oval. Or an oval. You know, like what a, you know what an oval is? Yes, it's just like this. See, she's showing you. Like a wide. Like a wide? Wide one. How is an oval? Here, show me in here. No, uh, I don't want that. A uh, drawing? Show me an oval. This is an oval. Okay. Uh, I know how to do ovals. I'm gonna show you shapes. Look. Square, wait. Square, triangle, diamond, oval. Boom! Circle. I need that trash can. Or. Aubrey, give me that trash can. Rectangle. Get the trash can, hurry. Bam! I got the guts out. Oh. Look at the guts. Really pick one. Huh? <laughs> Dot the one that you want. Dot the one? Dot it. Everybody's like, I'm so excited. You want an oval? This is. Whoa, let me see inside. Put it on. I kind of messed up on your oval. Just make it look like that then. That's the oval? Kind of. We kind of messed up. So. Look at me like that. It doesn't matter. Look at her, Daddy. Hmm? Look how she wants it. That was good. I'm an awesome artist. Now I'm going to do a. What was that dude from the. From that's the yours. That's, yeah, that's yours. Personally yours. Well, it's big. This is Millie's? Uh huh. She told me to do her so she can't draw. It's easy, you just okay. you need to grab it side and you need to put it out. And you have to put your hand in there. Yeah. Just have to 
you put your a hand all the way in there, mm -hmm. and you grab it, and you put it back inside there. Mm -hmm. keep See, it's like a the Oh, this pick of me. Yeah, you don't know how you know how to do a pumpkin. You know how to do a couple pumpkin. Oh, ah, big pumpkin. I love it. That's lemons. No wait, that's yours. Yes, mine's. We're doing lemons. You are. So but lemons gonna be down first. This one is heavy. Yeah, mine's is last. Wait, mine's is first. And the middle's last. It smells like pumpkin. Okay, let's this. <coughs> after, you after you're done, I'm gonna do. Can we see inside? Whoa! It's exactly. Last week was having been a pumpkin a long time ago in Miss Wilkins' class. Uh -huh, and it was big like this. And what happened? And then she put. She first, she cut it. You know you could put candles inside here to make it glow at night? And then she put it. You know that? Daddy, this dude, there's this type of Joe. He put it on the pumpkin, and he got his the b pumpkin big enough so it goes over his head. Uh -huh. And he drew a face on it, and he got fire, like, you know, that one type of Joe? So mm -hmm. he lit it on fire, and when he put it on this, he looked cool. Oh, really? He lit it on fire? Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh. My pumpkin is my pumpkin is heavier. That's more heavier. This pumpkin's more heavier. <coughs> What's that? It looks like a painting. Yeah, I'm just trying to. <coughs> Look at this pumpkin. He put that on his head. It's Joe. And he oh, and it on fire. Yeah. And he just lights it and it looks kind of purplish. It is always gonna look like that, like a hat. I like pumpkins. I didn't call a pumpkin before. You can put this pumpkin on a table. Is it too cold for you See? here? So, did you put it on? <laughs> Crazy. The headless horseman with the pumpkin dude. See? And then yeah, you have fire in there? Post it on Facebook. <laughs> Ooh, I want to put my hand in there. Okay, grab that stuff. What's in there? Grab it. Like, uh, bring it up. Put your hand in. All of it. Ew. There you go. Ew. You hear me? Keep going in. You wanted a pumpkin. Uh, it's slimy, huh? Uh-huh. And ew. Pumpkin. You're taking out the brains out of the pumpkin. Oh. It doesn't have brains. Yes, it does. You're taking them out right now. You're killing it. You're killing it. It's it's just, the pumpkin. It used to be alive. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. Ew. Yeah, hang on. Uh, Alright, so uh, there's still stuff in here, so I gotta make sure it comes off. And then I'm gonna get it again. Oh my hands from my pumpkins. I like bigger ones because they're easier to do. You have to put it bigger, and then I can put my hand inside there again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first is my first. I'm going to do Ali, Ali's first. Which one? Ali. Mine's the second? So I can cut it, and when you start digging out all that stuff, here, Me? Me. pull that up. I haven't even done the design on it yet. I've been looking for one. <sighs> 
Let's do a eyes Ew. of X with an okay. Ew. Alia. Alia. Think of my hand. Alia. Look. Ew. Pumpkin slime. Ew, pumpkin slime. Uh, uh, uh. Now you have pumpkin slime too. I know. I like pumpkin slime. I love pumpkin pie too. Yummy pumpkin pie. I have right, go in there. <laughs> get get the slime out. Ugh. Daddy, what, what is it okay if I do this one? The one with the square with the X eyes? Yeah, you can do that one. That one's actually cool. Ew. Disgusting. Wait, that's okay. Don't move me, Aubrey. If I mess up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to your pumpkin. What? What are you gonna do? It? Sabotage her pumpkin. Miniature one. There's an X one? Yeah. Which one do you want to pick? I can't see how it looks. Which one do you want? So this is the first one. Ew. So we're gonna start. Ew, ew, ew. This is so ew. this is the stuff. Try to take this off around. Yuck. Okay. That's See us? Huh? Bam. Right, it's empty now. Ooh. You can hide your money. You can hide a lot of different old things. Okay, so now we're gonna start cutting it out. <laughs> Here's the design. Hmm? Let me get that marker. Okay. Look at mine's. Mine's is lighter. And on this one is. No, With I'm your sure. pencil, did you see it? A little. But I'm going to do something else. <coughs> I want to do an X one, but I'm scared I'm going to mess up. Do you want me to draw for you? Yeah. Yes. Hard with the pencil. Yes, say yes. Say yes. I got my socks and I got my own cat socks. It's so ew. Okay. Oh, blind me, Ali. Blind <laughs> me. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this eye out. <laughs> You're blinding me. Sorry. You're still blinding him. You still can't see it? So they're blinding me. Look at Bandit! No, Bandit! He just likes the pumpkins. No pumpkins. No pumpkins. Get him off me! No! <laughs> Pumpkins. Get so off the table, it ain't no chair. Who, me? Yes. Look! Get off the table. What is that? A pencil. Get it, Mama. It's a pencil pencil. They can't even get it. Get it! Aubrey's weak sauce, huh? Yes, there she is. I like my pumpkins. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. I love my pumpkin. I love it. it this way.
Aubrey, go get a sweater. I'm just going to cut around it. If I draw it on this side, it would look cool because it has scars, huh? Make it look mm -hmm. like it's a scar pumpkin. I don't do that. Huh? I don't do that. I messed up on this side already. Cut it off. I think the jacket outside. It's so hot. Oh, you actually picked the pumpkin up? Mm -hmm. First, let's just do it. There is no nose. I should have got I should have bought a carver. <coughs> I should have bought a carver. I should have bought a carver. I should have bought a carver. <coughs> Let's see inside. Oh, no. I'm so excited. This is, this is Amina's. I see the eye on. After Amina's. Oh, you know what? Let me plug in the TV so we can hear the game. There's a game. Transportation bill. Obama. Uh, it may not be everything that I want. We Ain't should no be time. much Obama. more aggressive in rebuilding. Let's listen America to Obama. Right uh, interest up, rates are low. Construction workers yeah. uh, need the work, and our economy would benefit from it. If we thing. can't do a big multi-year plan, hey, at see least it. do something that is robust enough uh, so that uh, we are meeting the demands of a growing economy. A few months back, at a fundraiser. Uh, you made a point of saying that uh, the first lady was very pleased that you can't run again. Yes, she is. Do you feel the same way? You know, it's interesting. I, you go into your last year, uh, and uh, I, I think it's bittersweet. Uh, on the one hand, um, I'm very proud of you. stop touching that. And That's the cover. it I makes me that. think, wow, well, I'd love to do some more. 
But by the time I'm finished, uh, I think it won't be time for me to go. Because uh, there's a reason why we consider George Washington one of our greatest presidents. He set a precedent saying that when you occupy this seat, uh, it is an extraordinary privilege. But the way our democracy is designed, no one person's indispensable. And okay, ultimately, you are a citizen. And once you finish with your service, you go back to being a citizen. And I, and I think having a fresh set of legs in this seat, I think having a, a fresh perspective, new personnel and new ideas, uh, and a new conversation uh, with the American people about uh, issues that may be different a year from now than they were when I started eight years ago. I think that's all good for our democracy. I think it's healthy. Do you think if he ran again and could run again and did run again, you would be elected? Yes. You do? I do. More from President Obama, plus the art behind 60 Minutes Stories and the man behind the art at 60MinutesOvertime.com. Sponsored by Prevnar 13. What if one piece of kale could protect you from diabetes? What if one sit-up could prevent heart disease? One. Wishful thinking, right? But there is one step you can take to help prevent another serious disease, pneumococcal pneumonia. If you are 50 or older, one dose of the Prevnar 13 vaccine can help protect you from pneumococcal pneumonia, an illness that can cause coughing, chest pain, difficulty breathing, and may even put you in the hospital. Even if you've already been vaccinated with another pneumonia vaccine, Prevnar 13 may help provide additional protection. Prevnar 13 is used in adults 50 and older to help prevent infections from 13 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. You should not receive Prevnar 13 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. If you have a weakened immune system, you may have a lower response to the vaccine. Common side effects were pain, I mean, redness or at the injection site, limited arm movement, fatigue, headache, muscle or joint pain, less appetite, chills, or rash. Get this one done. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 13 today. America selects the funds and manages your portfolio. Is it run by robots? No, no, you can talk to a person anytime. Because I don't trust robots. Right. Well, if the portfolio you're invested in doesn't perform well for two consecutive quarters, Amerivist will reimburse your advisory fees for those quarters. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, actually, looks like you were born yesterday. Happy belated birthday. Thanks. For all the confidence you need, TD Ameritrade, you got this. Two of the most significant events of the 20th century. The Allies win the war, win this. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Jobs. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. She's not my daughter. You can be decent that looks nice. Mine's not that nice. From the writer of the social network and the director of Slender Man. See, look, that's a huge mouth, huh? That's good. Better for me to carve. Who isn't? I will destroy everything you hold dear. But you, isn't it be? Isn't it be hard for you for the top? You gotta cut it out like that? Huh? You gotta make the, the cuts around the finger. How many scissors are these? Find out what
dirty passengers on Monday at 11. There may be no greater miscarriage of justice than to wrongfully convict a person of murder and sentence him to death. But that's exactly what happened to Glenn Ford. He spent nearly 30 years on death row in solitary confinement in Louisiana's notorious Angola prison until new evidence he did not commit the murder. Look at the face. He was one of 149 freed from death row. I want to I want to ease the reinstated capital punishment in 1976. In all those exonerations, you have likely never heard like the face the prosecutor admit his role and apologize for his mistakes in sending an innocent man to death row. But tonight, a prosecutor's confession. Marty Stroud speaks of an injustice he calls so great. It Glass him up to give you a scissors. Glenn Ford's and his own. I ended up. I don't want to watch these guys. Without these guys are all his help, putting a man on death row who didn't belong there. I mean, at the end of the day. Hey. Perfect. He can't do the boo. He can't do the boo. Boo. <laughs> he had boo on there? No. He just didn't have a nose. I can just color that in. Picture at random of a site. That's him. What does that prove? Why would he tell me where the gun was and it was a mirror weapon? You bring me that gun and a report from ballistics saying it isn't a gun. Can't even see. Benzum. Oh, the 40 whiners. Manning tonight. Part one. 300 yards, 30 out of 30. Of making pumpkins with the Herrera. The second touchdown pass.